Hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to Monday Night Twitch. I am your host, Mike the Wandering Took, and joining me tonight is my mad friend, Daniel. Mad, I tell you! Big Foam Loaf. How you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm all right. Hey. It, was, uh, <laughs> it was our first day at the pool. Hmm. Pool season. Pool season's back in the Washington, D.C.'s. And, uh... We went out and spent like six hours. Dude, that's exhausting. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just being there in the sun. Like, I'm pretty wiped out. I'm hoping that uh, a little madness will get me going. <laughs> uh, yeah, we shall see, hey? Oh. Oof. This looks... Uh, I'm looking at this map, and it's pretty wild. This is a wild I map. Like it. Uh... I like it. You, you, you know my thoughts. I don't like our chances. Um, I've never liked our chances. Uh, but we, we uh, you say that at the start of every night. Yep, I do. I do. And if, and if I'm right enough. Um... <laughs> yeah, so eventually we'll be dead. Yeah, you'll be Well, right. the first the thing is, the first three scenarios, we utterly crushed. Utterly crushed. And then we couldn't get our sled up the mountain. And we missed out on a lot of good stuff there. And then our bad yeah. luck continued in the next one. So we really got hit hard. Uh, the biggest thing is we got nothing good out of the City of the Elder Things, and we basically got nothing going up the Forbidden Peaks. Uh, we have a fair amount of dead people, and um, <laughs> this is where the chickens come home to roost. <laughs> this is not the last scenario, right? No, but it's the last section. This is a two-parter, much like Ice and Death is a three-parter. Oh, okay. This is okay. the, the quote-unquote last. Um, it could be the last, but I didn't set it up as the last one. Uh, I see. Okay. You'll, you'll see. I'll see. All right. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we just jump right into the story? Nothing you want to report in the campaign notes? No, just what I said already. Oh, okay. Uh, campaign is uh, oddly empty. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a lot more uh, written down than we do. Uh. Uh, all right. Scenario four. The Heart of Madness. The next day, you plumb deeper into the caverns and pits beneath the icy crust of Antarctica. You pass under great archways of obsidian and primordial slate, through ornately carven corridors and enormous many-pillared halls, down into unknowable and unfathomable depths. Hours pass. Eventually, the passage seems to open into a larger corridor of work stone, with one final archway marking the end of the titanic ramp you've been descending. Five unfamiliar glyphs adorn the archway, their meaning incomprehensible. The path on the other side seems more like a vast underground subway tunnel than a natural cavern formation. All smooth, angular stone punctuated by alien markings and covered faintly in putrid Multicolored icker. Mike, I'm going to ask you a question. Sure. Um, is Dr. Amy Kensler alive? Nope. Oh. Step by step, you and the survivors trek further down the incline. The mood of your party is grim and hopeless. You feel as though there's no coming back from this place. You will likely meet your end here. The weight of this burdensome thought makes each of your steps heavy. Well, Mike, it seems that we each suffer one physical trauma. Sweet. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. All right. Mike, did we scout the forked passage? We sure didn't. We didn't. Usually we do those types of things. All right. Uh, no, you, you chose not to. And you know I always okay. choose get the snowflake out of the bag because we That's have true. four of those. All right. Eventually, you come to a fork in the cavern. To your left, the tunnel forks into a smaller icy path with a steeper and more dangerous incline. To your right, the ramp simply continues onward without much change, with no other information to go on. You choose the larger of the two paths. It continues to fork along the way, taking you down a circuitous, lengthy route. You end up deeper within the caverns, though you're no longer sure how to get back. Hey, we suffer no ill effects. Oh, that, that's, that's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, pretend I read the hours past moment here. Sure. Okay. Mike. Mm hmm Is Danforth alive? No, he died in the plane crash. Oh, gosh. So that really, that wasn't cross, our fault. Right. As you cross <laughs> under the final archway, you begin to question the truth of this place. You thought it to be a natural cavern at first, but now it is clear the Elder Things, or some other primeval alien force, had a hand in its design. 
Or are you going about this all wrong? Perhaps they are not the ones cast from afar, intruders upon your home. Perhaps Antarctica, indeed the Earth, was never meant for you or any of your kind. The truth of humanity's insignificance rattles you to your core. Mike, we appear to be suffering one uh, mental trauma right now. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, is the miasmic crystal listed under our supplies recovered? Uh, no, you dropped it in the snow on the mountain, I believe. That was smart. All right. That or the we didn't pick beyond, it up. I don't know. The, <laughs> the darkness beyond is like the abyss at the bottom of the ocean. Your torches and lanterns reach only a few feet ahead before their light is swallowed by black. Coupled with the intense pressure and biting cold, you feel as though the weight of the entire world looms over you. It is a journey of unparalleled dread. Hey, Mike, I think we need to add another snowflake. That is now five snowflakes in the bag. Uh, yeah, so I could have done it without that intro. <laughs> that, uh, that did not go well for us. Finally, at the end of this vast chamber, you come to a nexus within the dormant structure. A sealed gateway of immense size, emblazoned with the same five glyphs along with a series of interlocking mechanisms. Channels and grooves mark a path from the door's surface back to each of the five glyphs. Beyond the gate, you hear familiar churning, the bubbling and frothing of miasma, and the seething of hateful mist. It is beyond this door, one of your party says, and you cannot help but agree. You can feel its presence, or rather, you have felt its presence all along, ever since you set foot on Antarctica. Only now its call is impossible to ignore. It whispers faintly to you, Along the surface of your mind, visions play out. Your wildest dreams and most joyful moments, your darkest desires and hardest struggles. It is a mirage. The mirage. Sealed behind this door, likely for eons upon end, watched over, or perhaps even harnessed by those who came before you. But it is escaping, bit by bit. The creatures you've encountered and fought are evidence enough of that. The elder things know it is breaking free, too. They built this place. And now, it is abandoned. Oof. The investigators must decide. Stay here and study the Great Door to learn more. You will play both parts of the scenario. Or there's no time to waste past through the gate. You'll skip the first part. Well, you know I want to see it all, Mike. That's good, because I set it up for the first one. <laughs> We're going to stay here and study the Great Door to learn more, Mike. Great. Danielle is just not panicked. I'm sorry. I know my jittery, skittery friend, Bob the Salesman, is just a bundle of nerves, but I just not. To think that I ran away from the what is it, the Shelby gang for this. Yeah. I thought nothing could be worse. <laughs> Art of Madness, part one. You decide to study the doorway and the many paths that diverge from this vast tunnel in the hope that you can discover a way to stop the entity on the other side from escaping. You believe that the technology used to seal this door is somehow related to these five glyphs. Perhaps if you explore the surrounding area, you can find the missing pieces. Mike, why don't you go ahead and walk everyone through setup here? Okay, so <laughs> uh, we do each get an investigator. Or sorry, okay. a, um, a partner a asset. A partner, a buddy. Okay. Uh, they're all looking a little worse for wear, except for Takata. And if I would like Takata if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. I think I can make use of her this game. All right. Yeah. Um, There's just not a lot of people. Where are the people even? Oh, uh, they're right above you. Oh. The four left. Oof. Um, guess, who, looking... guess which one of us damaged them. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my defense, I only bonked Dyer over the head a couple times because I thought he could heal himself. Turns out, can't. Now, good news you... is... Um, I, I knew what the intro was going to do to us, so I am packing a thermos. Yes, that card okay. nobody takes, because they don't ever have two drama. I am going to take Avery Claypool. Of course. That's good. That's good. Okay, and uh, hello to everyone in the chat. Hey, Kevin. Hey, everybody. Hello, Jay. And uh, hello, Will. Welcome back. Hello, Will. Hello, Jay. Thanks for... Thanks for showing up to what could be the end. If, oh. if all doom and gloom Mike has anything to say about it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Piles the bag with snowflakes and then blames it on me. 
Okay, so I'm let's... not blaming you. I'm just getting too much into character. I think you. Oh well, you know. This is how I imagined Bob would greet. You got RP. This is how Bob would dra- greet tragedy. How did I think that I was safe in the hands of a mechanic in Antarctica? Well, when there's a monster around, I think you are safe in the hands of a mechanic. Speaking of, what are you packing for weapons? Sledgehammer. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yep. Yeah, we're good. All right, Mike, why don't you tell us what, uh, what we're the heck trying we're looking to do at? here, All right. agenda-wise and, and so, act-wise? Yeah. As you can see, there's kind of a lot going on. Uh, we do not flip over the center location. It's stuck on the revealed side. That's because the other side is for the next scenario. Uh, this is mm-hmm. the Gate of Qua. Uh, as you can see, it's got one shroud, a couple clues, it just says place an activated seal you control in the gate of Yaqua. Well, that must mean that there are seals in this game. Yes, there are. If you scroll up, there are these five seals. Okay. And uh, I guess all you know about them so far is that uh, they have to be activated and placed on here. That there must be what we're doing. Now, this map is kind of crazy. I don't know why that jumped on me. Uh, That's cool how that flipped. Yeah. Every location that is connected by okay, locations that are connected by lines are adjacent. Okay, cool. So simple. There's no dead ends. Everything is always connected to like three other things minimum. Yep. And uh, yeah, there you go. So we should be able to go off on different spokes and still be relatively close to each other, which is nice. I like it. Uh, otherwise, special rules really just the seals. Uh, these tokens are on the unactivated side. They'll light up when they're activated. As a an as an ability, an action ability, you may give control of a seal to another investigator at the same location, or take control of a seal. So this okay. is slightly as different than they usually do. As usually, yeah, okay. yeah, because usually they say, "Oh, as an action, you can give stuff or as many stuff." Right. This is not doing that. This is saying, as an action, you can pass it either direction, but you can only pass one. That's good because we don't have to worry about like who goes first and stuff. Yeah, yeah, right. that's that's really nice. All right, uh, cool. that is it, I believe. And okay. so here we go. Let's, let's let's read some agendas. All right, agenda one A: the beating heart. Five darkened paths lead away from the gateway through icy caverns and down vaulted corridors of smooth black stone. Quiet dread fills the ancient dormant structure. Forced, if two or more activated seals are controlled by investigators at the same location, the latent energy stored within the seals fuses together, and the ensuing chain reaction sets off an electrostatic detonation that destroys all life on Earth. R3. That sounds like not what we want to have happen. No, uh, don't cross the streams. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. so awesome. <laughs> Uh, Act 1A, Dormancy. You have decided to explore the rest of this antediluvian complex in order to find the devices that fit this strange doorway. Objective, if an activated seal is placed on the gate of Yaqua, advance. So all we know is that there are seals somewhere. Somewhere. And we can activate them. That's all we know. were were all the locations here, like, shoveled together and then placed on this wheel... Yes, um, there, there's okay. a, a set of locations for the set and then a set of locations for the scenario all mixed together. It's kind of like the caves in, okay. the, in, yep. the, in the Innsmouth campaign, how there's a set one and then there's, there's a few that change around depending on where you are. Okay. So yeah, shuffle around and uh, we start. So in... all five of these seals could be like right next to us? We just don't know? You know what? There might or... actually be a rule about that. I think something's tweaking my memory here. Where and I do like that the agenda doesn't allow like one dude to just go around scooping up these things. Oh yeah, that's neat. That's neat. Oh, I thought there was something, but I don't see it. Uh... Huh. Yeah, if anyone knows if I'm missing a rule about setup, uh, please let me know. But I think this one's random. Maybe it's the Each next Each location one. is placed randomly in one of the spaces. Okay, maybe it's the next one. 
there's one where it's like if if there's three or more in next to you then you you shuffle maybe that's part two all right okay. so let's uh let's quickly talk about our setup here because uh i had to discard of course 10 cards from my deck uh i'll yep. give you the, the the bad news and the good news uh the bad okay. news is i do not have scavenging in my hand nor do i have resourceful or scrounge for supplies uh, the good news is, is I have shrewd dealings in the red clock. So red clock alone gives me a leg up. Uh, more uh, bad news. Uh, actually, very little bad news. I, I got rid of Scrounge for Supplies, Resourceful. Uh, those are the only... And you handle this. Those are the only good cards I really threw out. I have four mm -hmm. items that I can't get back yet. Uh, but the good news is okay. there's no scavenging, and there's no well-connected, and there's no Joey. So all three of my plans are in my deck. And I tossed two Tiki cards in Greed. So nice. the Devil's still in my deck, and there's still one Tiki card. But all in all, not a Seems great okay. start, except I have the Red Clock. So that's that's good. It's good. So I'm, I'm happy with my start. Um, now, have we been playing Bob, right? It says on your card that you can pay for my stuff under my control without Shrewd Dealings. Oh, yeah, we've been playing that. I've okay. only had Shrewd Dealings out maybe once. I know. I don't know what you're getting at. Um, well, anyway. <laughs> I remember you saying, like, oh, I can't play anything of, out of your hand. Uh, it might have been it? because of my cash threshold. Oh, okay. If I was at a threshold for... Uh, uh, for the, 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 you know, the one, well-connected, yep. that might have been an issue. Yep. Or if I was at a threshold for greed that I knew was coming up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, um, I'm ready when you are. All right. Why don't I go first? Okay. Because I can put shrewd dealings out. Uh, that's action one. I will use my second action for you to play your sledgehammer. It, it only costs two for you. Yep. There it is. So that's my... Hang on a second. That's your non-action action. Let me just... You've done uh, one thing. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember what the issue was. The issue was that people that play want to play Schroffer's catalog can't play it and then play an item under someone else's control because it Bob's action takes effect on the first oh. item. That's what it okay. was. Okay, so uh, this red clock now only costs one. Uh, and then my last action... Jeez, do I just want to wing it? get that in my discard pile or do i want to get bandages out because i'm bob and i'm hurt already <laughs> let's do that okay so that's my turn that's what you got for me that's what i got for you i love it i'm gonna play a teddy bear i think it's time we keep the faith right now hey 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 will sing if you feel safe you aren't playing arkham and i think he's right Fair, fair point. Go ahead and throw four uh, blesses in that bag, Mikey. Oh, that'll be nice. And for my last act, I don't think I want to go away from you yet. That's fine. So, so I'm going to draw. Oh, it's some mob goons right away. Cool. Okay. Okay. Let's draw two Shogoths now. How did they find us right here? All right, so uh, they're going to attack me. Do you agree? Uh, right away, yep. I will take one and one. Uh, no, 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 no! You're not. No, you're not. You're taking. Oh, thanks. You are, and then you're immediately healing one. Oh. Okay. So I'm at two and two then, right? Yeah. And I will hit the goons back. I don't have to exhaust this. That's pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. Upkeep. Leather coat. Keen okay. observers will note that that's not scavenging. All right. One doom, my friend. Okay. My uh, bad card is... Look, look, look. <sighs> <laughs> the penguins are here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The worst part about the penguins isn't 
it's not the penguins themselves that are bad. It's the penguins combined with the other enemies in this deck that really, really kill you. Uh, so this is aloof, but it costs us an extra action to walk into or leave this location. Yes, the central location that we must always be uh, be going back to. We're going to want to kill that thing. <sighs> yep. I feel bad doing that, though. Yeah. And I have drawn, of course, Ancient Evils is here. Great. Awesome. All right. Us, eh? Us. Okay. Well, I think what I've got to do, Mike. Oh, I really wish that thing wasn't aloof. Uh, would it help if I punched your dude? My goons? Yeah. Um, Do you trust me if I'm hitting for a 7? Yeah, it doesn't help. I mean, I still have the action problem. Hmm. I only get because... one, really one shot at him. <clears throat> because I have to bring the penguin to me. Gotcha. Um, and I can't... Well, no, it would help. I think it would help. It's possible that I could do it then. Okay. Uh, then I'll go first. I am hitting for se uh, seven. Okay. Thank I you. have punched your goon. Thank you, Red Clock. Okay. You have taught me how to punch. But now I forget <laughs> again. Uh, okay. So free action leather coat. Uh, second action, I will winging it. This is a shroud zero now. Oh. Yep, so I don't get a clue. Um, that's okay. Last action, I will exhaust Takata, gain three resources. Okay. That was cool. So, if this is going to work, the bag has to treat me kindly. So I would punch him, bring the penguin to me, and then one-handed sledgehammer it with a vicious blow. Okay. All right, but you know, things have got to be with me. All right, I am up two on the goons, and that's it. Here we go. You ready? Yep. All right. Claypool is gonna get rid of that. I don't know why he only has one thing. He should have four, right? Oh yeah. All right. I uh, should have four right now. Yeah. Does he? All right, revealing a new one. Here we go. All right, that's good. So the goons are gone. Yeah. Oh, by the way, just so you know, uh, the skulls are minus one for mm -hmm. this whole scenario. There's no ancient ones. The cultists okay. are minus one, but if there is a seal at your location, treat it's this. A snowflake. It's a snowflake. Okay. Uh, the tablet's minus right. three. If you fail, draw the tiki kit deck. Uh, All minus right. four for the elder thing. If you fail by three or more, place a doom on the current agenda. That's not good. No. All right. I have grabbed the penguin. And I will now hit him with a vicious blow, ideally. And a one-handed sledgehammer swing. Lord. Okay. I'm up three. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, what were you going to do? Sorry. Uh, I was looking at last chance. I wanted to see if I could pitch it to someone else's test. Apparently, I can. You can if it's there's no other cards but Vicious Blows. Oh, and you needed Vicious Blow. Yeah. Yep, so the penguins are gone. That was actually a really good... That was that's sort good. of what Daniela is built for, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I love the visual of that. Punch a goon in the face, grab a penguin by the throat, and one-handed hammer it. Nice. Oof. Is that us? That's us. Upkeep. That's a shovel. God, I just went Dread Curse. Go ahead and put five chaos, or five curse in the bag, please. Worst treachery ever. Yep. But at least I drew um, only bad cards so far. Yeah. That's great. It's good to have it early right. and late. Because then at least you have a chance right. to resign. Yeah, three doom. All right. Uh, <laughs> I got an effing penguin. And I got a protoplasmic mass. Okay, so he's going to spawn on one of the spokes. Okay. 
and he's going to hunt. Now, he only hunts, look at his prey, his prey says nearest investigator yep. with the seal only. Yep. Okay. Alright. So, uh, let's just throw him here. Do you make, Do you care? Right. Well, he hunts no matter what, right? No, no. He's going to move. It just says when the enemy phase ends, if an investigator controls a seal, he'll do the enemy look at his. Look at his prey. His prey says only at the end. That means he, he is hunting. He has no prey. He will not move. I know, Interesting. I, I never know. knew that. It, it's, I know that's not usually how it works, but because it says only, it basically treats anyone who doesn't match that condition as blank. Yes, normally prey is a tiebreaker, not when it says only. I see. Well, let me get you out of here, okay? Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to grab the stinking penguin for one, and he's getting a two-handed sledgehammer. All right. There we go. Nope. Nope. There you go. I'm hanging with the penguin. <sighs> All right. I'm going to spend a dollar, and I'm going to wing it. Well, at least this location... I just have to not auto-fail this location. Okay. <laughs> um, hold on. Do you want... Oh. Okay. So, so that equals can... totally minus six. Well, good thing the shroud was zero. So this gets shuffled in. I get two clues. Wow. That was, uh, my that was a wild ride, clock. dude. Yeah, actually, no, I didn't need the red clock for that. That was weird. No, but I took it. I took it. Okay, yes, that was that was really weird. Uh, for a dollar, my free action, I will put out the grave digger shovel. We need to start moving, dude. Yeah, and for my next two actions, thank you, penguin. I'm gonna move. Ooh, what's this one? Treat the first snowflake revealed each skill test as a minus three instead of minus one. Limit once per round. Okay. Is that us? That's us. Okay, monster phase. I'm hit for one on my teddy bear and one on me. Then I will hit the penguin. You know what I'm going to do? I'm... I am, well, yeah, I'll hit the penguin. Since we have to deal with it eventually, right? Yeah. I was thinking, yeah, all right. Okay. I don't want an enemy right now. That would totally well, Hold on, we've got, we've got to uh, upkeep, right? Yep. The last thing I want right now is an enemy, because I can red clock. Oh, no, an enemy wouldn't be bad, because I could still get to move. All right, you're yep. up. No, we're yeah, I drew something that wasn't uh, awfulness. Lock door. Okay, we now have a lock door here. Okay. Nightmarish Vapors. You must either lose two actions or shove the top two cards. Oh, I'll take the two cards of the deck of Leaky. I gave you one. I gave you two. Thanks, man. Okay. All right, who's first? Why don't I get rid of this penguin and start walking? Sure. I feel like I should walk away from you. Uh, well, immediately I get to move three times. So I'm just going to move and start opening up the map and see what's where. So then you go. Okay. Uh, red clock goes off. Uh, two ticks now. I, I get to move up to three times. So we're going to move uh, here. I can choose another vaulted corridor and just go there. Okay. Uh, I might as well go up. Okay. Apparently I took a clue with me. If you control the whatever seal that is, test book three. If you succeed, you can spend two clues to activate that seal. Okay. And then for my last move, I'm going here. That's okay, all right. Another vaulted corridor. Okay, so now I get all my actions. Uh, so we find this key somewhere else and activate it at the library? That is correct. Okay. So 
So I've got my Cherish Keepsake out for my free action. Uh, I don't want to be at that, so I'm going to go one here. Okay. Two. There's like nothing on this side of the rings. Okay, we get a seal here. And it is this one, I think. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, two fleetness to pick up the seal. And you have to spend clues to do it. Okay. Which we have the clues. Fleetness is more your thing, right? Yeah, I can, I can do that. Now, this guy... This guy's going to hunt me as long as I have a seal, whether it's activated or not. And we don't know where to activate it, which means I'm going to be hanging on to it until I activate it and go back to the center. And we flip the act when we activate one or when we place it on the gate. Okay, so. I'm more worried okay. about what that mass is going to do. Yeah. Because I, I can't have him hunting me all around the place. I got a sledgehammer for that mass. Okay. All right, speaking of sledgehammers, do I save an action and one-handed one this or make it make it count? I think I'm going to try to one-hand kill him. At least get so two shots. Two. I'm up two. Now you're down four, or you're zero. Minus one. Rats. Penguins, actually. That's a bummer. But that's a curse out of the bag. So I'm going to remove that curse. i got to remember I have the Ancient Covenant. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to... I'm just going to make a count. I'm just going to club them. Okay. Minus there one. There it goes. Yeah. That was annoying. But... All right. Upkeep, yeah? Hey, sickle zone. <laughs> Upkeep. Ooh, it's my newest card. Mike. Oh, scavenging. Purifying corruption. Yeah. Huh. How neat is that? Huh. <laughs> it's another place to put stuff. To put stuff? If you take yeah. damage in horror. Hmm. Great Tommy card. I got my scavenging. Oh, good. All right. We are at four doom, sir. Out of how many? Five. Five. Okay. Uh, glimpse the unspeakable. Uh. Draw it and then shuffle it to any investigator's deck. I want the drop a clue. That's not drop a clue. And then I'll shuffle it to any investigator's deck. That'll be my deck. Okay, thanks. I have drawn an electrostatic discharge. Wow. Okay, so that's just surges, right? Yep. All right, into. Walk, 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 walk. I can't deal with. I cannot deal with these. Well, there's only two in the deck, and we've drawn three of them in three rounds. Uh, I just. I gotta get out of the central room. I can't just sit here hammering penguins. I mean, that can't be my life. If someone's gonna be hammering penguins, it's better you than me. True. Why don't you go and open up more rooms or get this thing? Or I'm not getting the thing because I can't have a protoplasmic mass running around after me while I look at where to, what to do with it. So first action, scavenging. Oh, I guess I, I take uh, both dollars first. And then I put a charge on. So first okay. action was scavenging. Second action was move. What do we got here? What I really, really wanted was a place 
with a clue. Let's go here for my last action. There we go. If I control that seal, which isn't out yet, okay, you can activate it. So it's nice to know that kind of going north is meaningless. Uh, except for that very top one. Yeah, which we can get to kind of quickly, right? Yeah. We're going around the ring. So, all right. Mike... A part of me just wants to go get that seal. I mean, we want to know where to what where the thing is to deal with it, but uh, deal with your penguin because we've gotten both walk walk walks out now. This right. should be unless we shuffle the cards back in. Right. All right. I draw him to my hand and hit him with the two handed sledgehammer. Minus three. And he's gone. He's gone. Good golly. I know. I know. I. I feel a little dirty with all this penguin blood on my hands. <laughs> all right. Was that us? Are we done? Yeah, that was us. Wasn't much. That was fast. Very was, uneventful. Right, up. uh, upkeep. Oh, Signum Crucis. Got some bless things. going on. Nice. Okay. <laughs> um, you have a, a little story to read us, Mike. A dark, primordial energy seeps forth from the walls, the very same miasma that has haunted your every step throughout this doomed journey. You freeze in your tracks and back away. You've seen the kinds of hideous shapes it can take, the kinds of memories it conjures, foul and fair alike. But not everyone sees the mirage for what it truly is. Daniel, could you please read the final straw? You instinctively act to defend yourself from the creature you know dwells on their side of the illusion, but your companions do not seem to understand. Their mouths hang open in awe. Their eyes glaze over, reflecting only the truth the miasma wants them to see. Mike, can you find each surviving expedition member, including those currently under our control, who do not have a check mark next to them? And choose one at random. Where did you put them? Uh, up to oh, the right. Okay. Uh, Daniel, do you have a G6 on you? I do. Okay, six is re roll a six. Rerolls. One, two, right, three, sir. four, five. Sure. I have rolled, sir, a three. Thank you for not rolling a one or a two. Uh, sure. That was rolled Ellsworth. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, here we go. Got another story to read you. Ellsworth barely hesitates to step forward. Where does it lead? He says quietly under his breath and fumbles for his flashlight. Deeper into the facility? Some kind of natural cavern? Could be the discovery of the Millennium! He steps forward, and a tendril of miasma in the shape of a hand reaches out for him. Is Cookie alive? Uh, nope. Cookie's dead. All right. He reaches out and takes its hand. The entity pulls him into the mirage, into a world of counterfeit joy, and he is neither seen nor heard from ever again. Well, there yeah. you have it. Ironically, if you'd, show, if you'd rolled a two, I think Avery would have survived it. <laughs> Oh, well. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, we are down to four. There's four of us. Well, four of them and two of us, so six total in our whole expedition so, group. What's, what's our next agenda, sir? Okay, this goes away. The miasma beckons. Eldritch whispers and the dribbling of inky miasma permeates the once silent ruins. Something is reaching out to you from within its walls, calling to you. Uh, same thing, we... We can't cross the stream. Okay. Six doom. There you go. Bad cards. Oh, uh, look at that. Miasmic Torment. Okay. I have drawn Roots of the Earth. Test Fleetness. The test gets a plus one for each location away from the gate I am. Ah, I'm not very far at all. However... I am just even with it. Well, so it is. I'm going to... Fate will decide this, Mike. All right. Okay. Minus one. <laughs> Perfect. I will take two damage. I'm hurt, man. Yeah, I didn't want you saying that. Not right now. I'm just getting set up. Yeah. 
All right, I'm going to let the clock tick up. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to move three times. Okay. Oh, look, we have a seal. That's the one we go to the library with. Yes. Okay. And then this is a free move. We don't have that one out yet. And then this is a free move. There it is. No, that's a different one. Okay. Red Clock is really awesome, hey? Dude, it seems cheaty. All right. All right. Do we know where to take this one yet? Uh... Okay, you know what? I think we need to... Oh, uh... This one where you're at goes to here, right? Yeah. What do I have to do here? Fist test to shatter the ice. And this one... So we don't have the clues. Right, I, you do. No, I have, I, can, I have the clues to get it. I don't have the clues to activate it. You have to spend clues both times. That, and I got to get rid of this Miasmic Torment. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to last chance the Torment. Okay. So this has four icons. And uh, so I'm a book book eight against a three. Good. Miasmic Torment is gone. So that was action one. Okay. Now, if I pick this up, I can move here, start investigating, but I can't do that without someone running into this protoplasmic mass. Uh, he's still pretty far away from you. I will... He is two locations away from me once I get there. Okay. And it's going to take me a couple actions. That is, right. if I can even do this. You know what? I'm only up by one. Uh, next turn, I will definitely be able to do this. <clears throat> so I'm wondering, on oh, no, everything here is high shroud. So we don't know where to take this one, right? So it must be here. Uh, there's also the two locations down. Over oh, there's way. two there. Yeah, right. Okay. Do you want me? I'm going to mark a couple of these. And that that'll mean we we have we we know it all. Okay, so it's that one, not you. Okay. Where's the other one? What am I missing? There we go. So we only know three, right? Right, we could actually mark him with different things to say like we we know where to bring it. Right. Well this like, one we'll get. Like where do we bring this one here? Right down below us. It's it's right one away. And where this one we have this here, right? Yeah. Okay. So maybe what we could do is say like we know that we bring that to there, and then we like can mark this one where you are, right? You know what I mean. And so we'll know where they go. We'll know the things that connect. Oh, gotcha. Right? So this one, do we know where it goes? Uh, that one is... The trident. the trident's not out yet. Okay, so it'll be that when we find out where it goes. And then the other two? We're running out of things, aren't we? We are. Um, but maybe, maybe we'll pick something up first. Okay, yeah, so... Okay. Let's leave it there. My next... So that was... Uh, I have only done one action. Okay. Second action, I will move. There's the trident. And it goes to where? That we don't know yet, right? No, no, it's two way. Two way, okay. Uh, I really dislike that there's no bloody clues at this location, so I'm just going to move down here. And it'll be that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, no. 
I want to move back up. Okay. All right. So at this moment in time, I have no way to get clues. But what I am going to do is first spend. Are you going to move towards a protoplasmic mass? Two dollars. Get a bandolier. Um, yeah. Oh, he's got quite a fight. But and you're wondering why I'm scared. I can, always, I can always just let him hit me and um, exhaust him. You can. You've got yeah. two hits left. Yeah. Um, I will move here for my second act. Um, now I can get this seal, but it would cost your two clues. That's all. And we don't know where it goes. Uh, I'm not there. I, it doesn't seem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you want me to head down to be where you're going? Uh, I need you to intercept this protoplasmic mass. So on my turn, if all goes well, I pick up the seal. I well, move. I'll just go. I'll just go before you then. So I'll get down there. Okay. And then I'll just step up, and hopefully I'll draw something that All I right. can use. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's... Monsters, no monsters. Upkeep. Upkeep. That's actually really nice. Root force. Okay. I really want my well connected now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one doom. Yup. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Ancient Eels, put another doom on. Will do. That's a little mean card to have here. All right, I drew Primeval Terror. All right. Oof. You are two away. So I'm even with it. Okay, here we go. Minus one. Rats. All right. So I take two horror to my teddy bear. My clock ticks. All right, so I was going before you, right? Uh, up to you. Um, we could see how my turn goes, too. Because he's not going to move right at you, is he? Okay. No, no. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's quick thinking this. And I'm up by another plus four. So I'm a four. I'm, a, I'm an eight. Eight to a two. Ten to a two. Wow. Okay, so quick thinking goes off. I have just retrieved the seal. Okay. That's action zero, basically. Okay. Uh, action one, I move. Uh, action two, let's wing it. Okay. <laughs> um... So that means I get to pull my key ring out. Uh, you're almost dead. I'm, I've been, I've been better. That means I can't pull my key ring out. I have to pull my thermos out. Uh, so that's my free action. Uh, I get a clue. Okay. So one, investigate. I have one action remaining. Uh, Daniel, you are healing two damage. Physical. Two physical. Thank you. I'll remember that, brother. I just need you to keep okay. me alive. <laughs> well, with that in mind... What I'll do 
is to take my first turn. Uh, he can go either way, right? So maybe I want to see a new place, huh? Oh, yeah. I'll go here. Okay. If I control the blah, 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 which, okay. It's right next to it. Is it? So that's the All one right. I'm going to next, because that's a, that's easy for me. Okay. And now, the, what? okay, Should the we odds, mark it with something? The odds of us... Uh... Let's mark it with Doom. Okay. No, not Doom. Let's mark it with Clue. Big fat clue? Big fat clue. Um, the odds of anyone getting all five is not high. We're just going to get as much as we can comfortably. Like we do. Yeah. Okay, so that was move one. Or thing one. Oh, sorry, I had to spend two clues. Dude. To... Yeah. Dude, I wonder if I should look for clues here just so I can put three bless in the bag. Wouldn't be the worst idea. All right. Well, first I'm going to draw and see if I get something useful. All right. Did I'm you get something wrench. useful? <laughs> a mechanics wrench. Uh, I'm going to put that out. Okay. So, he can go any direction. Are you okay being hit by him? Yeah, I'll be dodging him. Okay. So, this is the funny thing. If he actually hunted twice, he would hunt through you. Really? Yep, because he ignores you. Okay. He so just he, doesn't care at all. He totally ignores you. Now the phase ends. He's an enemy at your location without a loof, so he engages you. Okay. Uh, so he tries to hit me, right? I believe so. Is that... Hey, people in chat, he does hit him, right? That's an odd well, I mean, rule. Because, he resolves the hunter. But he's not targeting you during the hunter. You are not on the board when he hunts. Well, then why did I move here? Because I it's, the whole point was to stop him from coming at you. Oh, it's not going to stop him. But if he engages you, uh, right. you can hit him with a hammer. Right, but if he hunts... So my understanding of his card is he's just going to move twice, right? No, he's just going to move once. But then at the end of the enemy phase, he's still going to be alive. Uh, I think I need an intermission to look at the rule book. Keep the All folks right. entertained. When the enemy phase ends, if an investigator controls an activated seal, but Mike, I don't think you've activated it yet, has he? Yeah, it's not activated. So that doesn't matter. So I think he comes to me and stops with me, and I deal with him. I think is the right interpretation. So yeah, I'm gonna say he stops with me and hits me Sorry, what just happened? Well, I, I think he stops with me and hits me because you do not have an activated seal yet, do you? No. Right. So he only moves at the end of the enemy phase again if an investigator controls an activated seal. So he's going to stop with me and hit me. Right? Right. Okay. I'm going to spend one to dodge it, and he is done moving. And I'm going to hit him for one back. Oh, okay. I so think that's, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let, so me, then, let me just double check the prey rule here. Prey. prey. Prey only means like if all things being equal, he'll go that way. No, not when it says only. Here we go. 
If an enemy's prey instructions contain the word only, that enemy only moves towards and engages that investigator, as if it were the only investigator in play, ignoring everybody else. Other investigators may use the engage action or card abilities to engage the enemy. Oh, that, that must be... So he's basically aloof? But he's not aloof. Right. Because... Where is he? Well... Huh. Because what, what's the engage action for? That's a good question. Because I thought you could just... Engage just means pulling it off with someone else, right? Oh, maybe that's what it meant. Or dealing with aloof. Because I'm pretty sure, like, now that he's not moving, you're the only person at his location, so he's just going to engage you. Yeah. Because hunting always takes effect first, and then the right. enemy attacks hunt, you, right? You hunt, right. Okay, so he does attack you. Yeah, I think he just, when when he's hunting, he's mono, he's just mono-focused. Yeah, okay. So, okay. there we go. Right, let's, let's say it that way. You check the chat right now, see what they have to say, but I think that's right. They said nothing, so I'm going to say it's right. Which means McDog isn't in the chat. <laughs> all, uh, right, all right, so, then it is upkeep. It is upkeep. Wow, I could use True Grit right about now, that's for sure. Um, then we are at three doom, sir. Go ahead. Ancient evils were four doom. Good googly moogly. That's all three ancient evils. That's all three of those, but still, that, that means you get a show off. Glimpse the unspeakable. Draw the top of the Tekaliki, shuffling it. Okay. It is take a horror. Shuffle into my deck. Oh wait, it's peril. <laughs> Daniel, whenever you draw that treachery, shuffle every oh. tiki card into my deck as much as possible. Well, uh, I definitely I definitely was not taking that. I love tiki cards. Okay. Alright, do you want to see if I can end this thing? Yeah. Okay. Thing one. See, it's attacked me already, so my mechanics wrench. Deals plus one damage. Deals plus one damage. All right. First, so you, I'm going to hit with could a have... two-handed. Hang on a second. No, I could have exhausted him, but I can finish him if it goes right. Because why would you hit him with your sledgehammer at all if you just double hit with your mechanics wrench? Uh. Oh God, he's only got four hit points. Yeah. So if I you thought just... he had six. Okay. So if you just exhausted him instead of hitting him then you can guarantee he won't run away from you. Well, he won't run away from me, Mike, because he'll be dead. Okay. Famous last word. You know word. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, of course it's famous last word. I'm saying this damage um, is completely un inconsequential. Well, I could just hit him with a sledgehammer, too. But it's... Why would you do that? That's minus one fist. No, 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 like two-handed. Oh, two -handed I see. Him. And finish him in one. It means it's still two actions. But it's, it's like, do I want to beat him to death with a wrench or a sledgehammer? I see what you're getting at. But the problem is, is I'm not that high up on him. No, you're not. Right? And so... Dude, maybe I do just exhaust him. Maybe that's what my job is every time he hits me. You know what I mean? Maybe. He's not going to hit right. you, though, because he's not going to hit you ever again. Well, he'll move. if he's exhausted, that's good. And that, Yeah, and if he's not exhausted, he's going to move. Yeah, so I exhausted him last round. He's here, sleepy. Okay. Actually, never mind. Only each unengaged enemy... Um, hunts so never mind okay okay so that so there you go i'm not touching him okay oh you're not touching him no because it the, the problem is still he's up six or gotcha. like i'm only up one against him right you know what i mean so yep. like 
I know what you mean. If you can get this seal going and like put it on the thing, that would be great. Do you I need me do. to come to you? Nope. Uh, I should have enough powder in the keg to activate this thing. All right, so I'll let you go first, and we'll see what... Okay. <gasps> I didn't even read that last line until now. I have to do this. I have to do this. Oh, okay, yeah. so I'm getting a, a resource from Red Clock. I'm definitely using the plus four at this point. I'm going to spend a resource. Oops, I didn't want to spread that. Ugh. I really don't like this <laughs> set. <laughs> Is this the seal that you have? Okay. Anyways, I am playing winging it. Okay. So I am investigating for eight uh, against a three. Okay. Five up. Good. <sighs> minus four. Woo! If it was Good minus work. three, I would have been able to scavenge. <sighs> well... You get two clues, right? I do get two clues. So there should be one left on the location, right? Yeah. Okay. So action two, I have activated my seal. Okay. Well, wait, how did you pass the fist test? Oh, I didn't do that yet. No, you didn't do that yet. Oops. Uh, I don't think I'm passing that test. I mean, I could come there and pass that test. I'll, I will pass it next turn. Guarante almost guaranteed. Yeah. Well, you want to just get that last clue off then? I'll do what I can. Uh, it's what okay. Now I'm even, so I'm four on four, right? Uh, so I'm going to play Unscrupulous Loan for 10 resources. And uh, I just don't want to draw that Elder thing. Anything else is good, just not, oh, not the Elder thing. Here we go. Oof, God, I first looked at it like you did it. I get to draw a T card, though. Didn't you say you love those? Uh, draw it is not a good one. <clears throat> oh. That's right. That seems okay. That's me. All right. Whew. So you're delayed one. Why don't I just pick up the seal, dude, and then hand it to you? Which seal? The Where one. you are. Because a fist test is not that hard for me. Yeah, you could do the fist test. Right? I, I have the seal, so... Right, but... It, it'll, like, save you an action next turn, right? And you can go activate it? Or you can go deal with it? Best or we'll way. activate it now, I mean. On your next turn, you can actually go to the gate. Do you actually have to have the seal to do that test? Oh, no, if, yeah, you do. So you'd have to move over here, grab the seal from me, then do the fist test. Oh, really? Yes. It's your whole turn okay. to do that. Or I just pass well, the fist test first thing next turn. Okay. Can you get to the gate in time? Uh, I can get there, but I can't place the seal. God damn. Oh, God. All right. And you know what? Well, I, thing... I, have, I, have three, I could have three actions in me, but I have to do those three moves at the beginning of my turn. So then I wouldn't be able to do the test. No, this map is is specifically designed so that you can't do that kind of shenanigan. Okay, for $3, I'm playing True Grit. I feel like that's important. To get you prepped for your next turn, um, I'm going to go to you. How bad is the squid again? Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, so for Signum Crucius, I mean, that could be even worse, right? Well, the 
Bless is good. Three. Bless is good. Is it worth a doom or a potential doom? All right, I'm going to move over to you. Okay. And I'm going to investigate. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm down three, so that'll put three bless in the bag. Six blessed. And two curse. Okay. You ready? What are you doing? Oh, yeah, you're investigating. I'm investigating. Yeah, go for it. Minus one. Um, I use clay pool, you know why? No. Because <laughs> I'm about to draw a blessed token, at which point I end this whole thing. Uh, oh, gotcha. Okay, ready? Okay, another one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You are plus yeah. one. And you are a two investigating a four. Yeah, the snowflakes didn't help. So, do you really want to finish this test? I guess you could. Like, you fail, right? Yeah, even with even with the ancient covenant, covenant, I'm down too. Yeah, but then at least you preserve the rest of the blesses. Yeah, no, I'm done. I'm okay. done. Then I'll remove a bless. Yeah, I mean, I'll exhaust the covenant to stop this madness. All right. All right. Uh, enemy face. The monster wakes up. Yeah. He's pissed. Upkeep. We upkeep. That's nice. All right. And you almost have a story to read us. We're getting two. That, yeah, if you can't deal with that mass, or I can't see us getting more than two. Okay. The card I draw is... Uh, oh, look, we both take a horror. And a damage. No, nope, oh, it's just not active. Okay. Um, okay. And it surges into a rampaging Shogoth. Well, that doesn't sound good. Nope. It has uh, eight health. Well, so it goes. Yep. All right. And I have drawn... Blasphemous Visions. Oh, that's All horrible. Right, whatever. It's horrible, but I just can't care about it right now. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. So you got it. You got yourself Shogoth. Yep. Okay. Holy cow. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, I mean, we can just exhaust him and get the hell out of there. How are we exhausting him? Well, he's only got one. You forget my red clock gives me a boost for my first action and only my first first test, which means if I do this, I'm not doing the fist test. Sure. Sure. I mean, I could try to exhaust him. And we run. Uh, if I, we, we run, it means I'm doing a test first. And then I'm moving, and then I'm getting pounded by protoplasmic mass. You're barely hurt, dude. The guy does one and one. <laughs> um, I remember last time we said that, I died in one round. Well, that was just... A series of unfortunate events we're gonna we're gonna run to the gate and i'll be there with the mass with you we'll we'll figure it out okay what are we doing now i mean if you're that freaked out no you no can I, hand me the, I, you can hand me the thing no no i like i can't evade him and do this test no 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 i know uh i'm gonna evade him i'll go first okay all right, I'm going to play. I'm up. I'm going to be up three after putting those cards in. So you're engaging him first? Nope, I don't have to. He's engaged with all of us. Oh, he's massive. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's just hanging with. He's hanging with us. Gotcha. I didn't realize. All that. right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
Um, I was not attacked by an enemy this round, I don't think. But I still exhaust him. Okay. So then I say we leave. Are you I with mean, me on that? Uh, I got to activate the seal first, but yeah. Then you want to meet at the gate, right? Uh, I might run to the limestone caverns because, well, yeah, we'll go to the gate. We'll go to the gate. Okay, I'll be there. Okay, let's not auto fail this then. Uh, dollar for Please a clock. Don't. Thank you. We are now active. Oh, it's pretty. Two, three. You don't have any free moves and stuff to get you there? If I free moved, I wouldn't have the plus four for my red clock. Mm -hmm. I only get one. And I have to do that free move before my turn right. begins. The red clock right. is great, but you really have to time it. Right. Understood. All right. Uh, enemy readies. Protoplastic mass engages and attacks me. Uh, I um, will bandage. And uh, lose my teddy bear. Okay. Upkeep, right? Yeah. I do love redrawing winging it so much. That's the best part about this deck. I know. It, small things. Hey, that's not bad. That might no, give, that's good. That might let you uh, destroy a protoplasmic thingamabobber. It just might. Um, am I reading a story? I'm reading a story. You are, son. The seals pulse with dangerous electrostatic energy, filling the icy chambers with bright blue light. You struggle to contain the power within each seal as you move quickly to put them in their proper place. Check the seals controlled by each investigator. Uh, the investigator who controls the seal that I control, uh, which is that weird the top one, one right? takes, I take two damage because the seal's activated. Okay. So right. I'm going to bandage up. I can true grit one if you need it. No, I'm good. But I'm getting beat up a bit. I'm good. Okay. Uh, all right. So last one. We have six turns. The gateway stirs. This is the call of madness. Whatever is calling to you from within these walls, it hears your every word, your every footstep. It knows of your presence, of your hopes, of your fears, and it yearns to be free. Oof. Okay. All right, bad cards. Because it's not bad enough. Okay, cool. Okay, that changes some things. I got to take the top two. Yep. All right. So that that changes stuff. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. You ready? Wait just a sec. I'm count I'm counting actions cuz we have 6 turns to get This should be down to. We need 3 more clues. Mhm. Mm which we don't have. But I can get them here. And to get the seal and activate it and go back. We can try it. I don't like our odds, but we can try it. Okay. Um, I'm wondering. Well, I have a genius plan. Can I go? Sure. I do have, hang on just a sec. Yeah, you can do your genius plan. Okay. So I'm going to jury rig my sledgehammer. Okay. Okay. For my second action, I'm going to pull one mass off of you. Okay. I'm going to exhaust my wrench to let it hit me. Okay. I'm going to use my, my other thing 
my my superpower to actually exhaust him. So if you want to put him where he belongs. Sure. All right. Um, I do take one and one though. I will take. It's this. It's the psychosis that's really hurting me. So one, and I will exile my teddy bear. Okay. Okay. Then for my third act, I'm gonna take the mass off of you, and he's just with me. Okay. Uh, first action, I place the activated seal here. All right, read us a story. Oh, I do get to read a story. Yeah. As soon as you set the seal into place, it locks into the door with an audible click. The energy stored within the seal reaches out, coursing through channels and grooves along the doorway, and lighting the entire chamber with an eerie glow. Perhaps if you can activate the remaining four seals, you can put a stop to this madness. Uh, I get to heal a damage. Oh, okay. Thank you. Wish I could give that to somebody else. But I won't uh, look a gift horse in the mouth. Act 2A, <laughs> the Great Seal. Placing the first of the five seals has awoken a strange power within the facility. You believe if you can mm. find and activate the remaining seals, they will aid in containing the thing that dwells on the other side of this gate. Objective, place as many activated seals as you can before whatever is this a lot, escapes. Is this a lot easier in four-player? It seems like it doesn't scale well. This isn't easy by any stretch. Yeah, I guess. No, that's true. I mean, uh, I, I moved around the map as if we had four players. True. All right, dude. You have, I think, two more actions? Uh, I do. Action one. Move. Why uh, are you going there and not somewhere where there's a seal? Because I need clues. We need four clues to get and activate. And there's Understood. there's only two at this location. So if I grab these two, those are easy. And then I'll okay. move and go over the four. Okay. So uh, we're going to do winging it. Okay. Just for one, and I'm going to switch perception. Okay. And that will get us. That's a... There is no seal at this location. Okay. So it's just a minus one, which means I draw a card. I get to take a damage. That's okay. Uh, I get to scavenge. So I will pull back. Oh, how many clues did you get there? One? Uh, yeah, one clue. Okay. Uh, where are my keys? Did I misplace my keys? There they are. You put them over by me. I got them. I think. All right. Okay. So for my free action, I do that. Do, 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 do. Oh. And so uh, we're definitely going in for two then, right? Would you say? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's my act. That's my turn. Okay. All right. All right. That's uh, us, I believe. So, mon enemy phase. The first one is going to hit me. Shogoth moves. Okay. I'm going to dodge the one that hit me and put a damage on him. Okay. Okay. Uh, up the other one wakes up, and I don't know if he engages me or not. Uh, he does, because he just wakes up. Okay. Enemies always engage when they're at your location. Oh, I have the okay. devil in hand. Okay. Um, That's okay. I don't think up, I'm playing any assets. Upkeep. Really? Uh, you do that the twice. Tekeliki. Place one of my clues in the bottom. Or place one of my clues here. I do that twice. Guess how many clues I've got. Good thing you got that, not me. Yep. All right. Uh, one doom. Bad cards. I have a Forgotten Shogoth. After he engages you, draw the top card of the Tiki deck. Discard a card at random from your hand. Oh my god. I just discarded the devil. <laughs> that couldn't have worked out better. Nope. <laughs> Not at wow. all. Uh, the problem well, is, is you have a giant Shogoth on you, though. 
Yeah, I, I have that. Easy to evade, though. Yeah, I can evade him. Uh, my bad card is a Miasmic Torment. Which you have to get rid of this turn or your guy dies. Yeah. Do we even oh, care anymore? We, remo we remove a snowflake from the bag. Oh, yeah. Yoink. Do we even care about these guys anymore? Uh, I care about their abilities. Well, I'll tell you what. I have no idea how I can deal with this guy and the things on me. Yeah, right. Well, guess not. Um, I can take one more hit. One? Any To my brains, yeah. So I shouldn't be going for this other one. Well, yeah, I mean, you should get as much as you can. I was hoping you'd thermos me on your way out when we were together, but you had other things to do. Oh, right. But if It's you're gonna... going to be sad if, if you die with an almost full thermos, or if I die with you having an almost full thermos. I have had two... Gotcha. I can only I can only heal one brain. By the way, with the thermos, it's two physical, but one brain because we have two physical and one, and one mental. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well, it is what it is. Um. Okay. All right. Who's first? Okay. Um. I'm just going to swing a hammer at one of these things, get him out. All right. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with my last thing. Um, I might let him hit me so I can run. Because I can evade him and get out one space, right? All right, so I will jury rig... My two-handed sledgehammer, which puts me at nine to six. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there is a seal at your location. So it's a, a snowflake? Okay. Yeah. I cannot miss this. Okay. Okay? Yep. Fuck. Uh, uh, well, good luck, Mike. Okay, so let's see. So let's say I evade him. Then uh, action uh, Well, hold two. on. I've got one action left. That's it. Mm -hmm. Um. With that, um, I can... Mechanics wrench to let the guy hit me so I can hit him back. So that's the one there. The one there I can take that hit. Although why not just put it on true grit. Um, then for my third act, I'm going to hit him with my wrench. I am only up one. Okay? Yep. Oh my god. All right. So he's dead. But that other one will kill me. And I have no way of healing Avery. I wanted to. Even if I saved you, we'd die. Really? Yeah, because the Shogoth will hunt. Oh, yeah. Okay, so realistically, let's assume everything goes well. I okay. evade, I get a clue, I move. Shogoth jumps on okay. me. I evade, I activate, I move. Shogoth readies. I get a clue, I activate, I have to get past a Shogoth. And in all those times, if I draw one monster, I'm dead, because I can only take two hits. Or I die from physical. Hmm. Well, we got to hope for that, huh? We do. Or what else? Uh, we resign. Um, well, I'm out of actions. Okay, I'm going to evade. <sighs> Wait, 
That's a four. I actually passed because of my red clock. Okay, so he's evaded. No, wait. I didn't have to do that. I did not have to do that. I could have taken the extra tick on red clock to get a free move, moving the Shogoth with me. I will take an attack of opportunity. Oh, Thermos won't even heal you. To Thermos, you. For one. For one. Then aren't you hit by the Shogoth for thermosing me? I, I already took no, that. Stats. Oh, you did? Okay. And then I thermos you. A, I have to exhaust the thermos. I resign. Wow. Yep. Um, well, I'm killed by your Shogoth that you left with me because you didn't evade him. Oh, I guess I could have. Uh, ev I did have a chance to evade him, but I'm uh, I'm three on two. And if I drew those tokens, then uh, no, I wouldn't have been. I would have had to draw the top card of the Tiki deck. Which is take a damage. Okay. So I'm dead, right? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Mental trauma. Is there any way I can make it real? No, it's mental. Uh, you could activate the... No, there's no way. When I'm hit... If you activate uh... the Shogoth first, he hits you for two... No, won't happen. No, won't happen. Well, that sucked. Well, uh... That was literally... The worst. Let's go to... Right. No resolution, right? Each resigned or was defeated. There we go. Try as you might, you are unable to find and place all five seals. These dark, dormant halls are home to much more than just giant penguins. The creatures that dwell within are the same that Dyer and Danforth described from their journey. Shapeless monstrosities composed of viscous, bubbling jelly and covered in lidless eyes. You flee back to the gateway to rest and lick your wounds, but before you can decide what to do next, something slams against the ancient, massive doorway, scaring you nearly to death. It reverberates through the facility, then another, and another. You try to flee, but it's too late. Proceed to Resolution 2. With a final hiss of air and a primordial screech, the immense gateway bursts open. Tendrils of prismatic color reach forth, slithering along the floor and walls. The chaos is over in mere seconds. The miasma grips you with impossible strength, clawing and tugging at your limbs. Terrible shapes, familiar sights, and untold nightmares play out along the surface of the entity as it pulls you screaming through the gateway and into the other side. Uh, I think we get zero XP. Uh, no, we get one. We get one for your seal. This isn't oh, the high activated XP seal in play. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, you don't uh, even have to bring it back. You just need to activate it. You know, the bright side is we didn't lose Avery. Oh, my. Uh, yep, yeah, you did. Because it's at the end of your turn. Oh, the end of the turn. Yep, so he's dead. And uh, there we go. Now we go to the other side. You awaken in a haze on the other side. You have no idea how long it's been since you crossed the threshold of the gateway. Uh, it is time to end this once and for all. And then we will set up for next week. No, actually not next week. Two weeks from now because I can't make it on Monday next week. So what would be the difference between going to two or three? Oh, nothing. Uh, one is oh, you clean up your oh, table. Oh, three is if you put all your cards away, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so there we go. Thoughts? I didn't enjoy it. No? No. Too bogged down? Too what? No, I have... I... 
Well, and it's not it's not the game's fault. It's the draws, and I don't know that Daniela is the best, even though she came in this box, to, <laughs> best character to bring here. She's a she's a tough go. Um, and I guess I didn't build her right. I said it but, before. I don't like the sledgehammer. People rave about the sledgehammer. I don't know why. I think two actions for... Uh, I, don't, I just don't like it. Yeah. I guess it, it makes... It's, it's costed right because he doesn't have ammo. Yeah, maybe that's it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I never upgraded it. I don't know what the upgraded one is like. Uh, the upgrade one, not as good. You you get the triple action yes. plus five fight plus five oh, damage right. or something ridiculous. But I think you lose the you lose the two action ability, and you might even lose the one. Right. I don't remember, but whatever it is, like you, you lose it for some flexibility. Mm. Yeah, I, this was just kind of a downer night for me. Oh, I didn't feel like. Oh, I just didn't feel like I'd help much or contributed very much. So. Sorry to hear that, bud. No, no worries. It's a cool design uh, scenario. It is. And I'm glad you like that because uh, we're coming back to the same design next yeah, week. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, you here we go. Next week? Uh, Jesse, hey, Jesse. Uh, in Daniela, you should upgrade to the Fire Extinguisher 3 experience, which is better. Think about that, Daniel. Uh, mm. The level 5 version gives you the one action, plus one fight, and plus one damage. Oh. That's nice. So at least you don't lose the fight. Right. Very cool. Well, um, it went pretty much what I expected, actually. I kind of figured <laughs> we don't have a lot of en enemy management. And if I evade, that's my use. That's my good use. Um, it's Bob's thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. There you go. It's fun moving around the Well, thanks, folks. Crazy. Thanks, folks, for coming around to see another... Thanks for watching. But why failure? <laughs> hey, we got we got an XP. We got one seal. Um, I will say that is the ending that we will get most of the time. Anyone who plays this campaign, you're going to get that one most of the time. Uh, because it's extremely difficult to get five. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, two, weeks, two weeks. Two weeks. We will see you then. Bye now. Ciao.